Hi, I'm Phil Vickery and welcome to my mini-series of game films. In these six films we're going to concentrate on venison, partridge and pheasant. Some of the dishes are very simple uh, and very traditional, others are a bit more involved and slightly more modern. But all of them are simple and easy, look good and taste fantastic. So let's get cooking. In this film we're going to concentrate on partridge, simply roasting with grapes and almonds. Um, Raymond Blanc once said, for every small bird or every bird there's enough bones to make one or two portions of sauce and he's absolutely right. So we're going to concentrate on that today. It's a very simple process but it's something which I think is wonderful and I absolutely, such a, I get such a joy from cooking small birds like this. This is a red leg partridge and I've taken out the um, breastbone so it makes it easier to carve and the legs are trimmed. Now I will cook this for probably about 13 minutes in total. Uh, so what I'm going to do first of all is just gently season the partridge like that. A little bit of pepper like so. Here I've got a non-stick pan on the stove which I'm going to pop in probably a tablespoon of oil. Swirl that round nice and hot and place the partridge leg side down and just press it down slightly like that and let that sizzle for about I don't know five or six seconds on there season the edge don't go mad and literally take this pan put it straight into a hot oven and like that and let that roast on the side there for about five minutes, no longer. Got a little timer here. Sorry, that's it. Five minutes. Right, five minutes are up. We'll take the pan out of the oven. Okay, it's very, very hot. Turn the bird over onto the other side, like that. And then carefully put that back in the oven. Set your timer again. Five minutes on the other leg. Look it up. Finally, on the breast, three minutes. Nice and brown. Okay, alarm's gone off. That's the last three minutes. There it is. Now this, at this point, is still slightly undercooked. Again, we're gonna rest it, so Take it out, breast side down like that, cover with foil and leave that for about 10 minutes. Right, that partridge has been resting for about 10 minutes now, as you can see, still quite steamy. Now this is going to be slightly undercooked, but I want that because by the time we've played around with it and reheated it, it'll be perfect. So, take the hot partridge and pop it onto a board like that. Now, with a very sharp knife, just nick through the leg by the breast and then just run your knife round there to the bone. Press down and pull the leg back and it will come off perfectly. As you can see, slightly undercooked, but that's perfect. One there. You do the same the other side, a little nick, cut round to the bone and the whole thing should just pull off like that. Like that. You then run your knife down the breastbone right to the front end of the bird. So, carefully, like that, cut through, and then you should better pull the whole ha, hot breast off like that. Do the same the other side, run down the side of the breast, put the knife through, the knuckle, one, Wet hot, two, and there's your other rest. Now, as you can see, there's a slight undercut, which is perfect. So you place those in a bowl, just like that. And then you place the breasts on top, just like that. Nothing gets wasted here. So there's the carcass, and I literally cut the carcass like that into th sort of four or five big chunks and you put them straight back into your pan that you roasted them in. So 
like that. That's the basis of the sauce. Now that's browned up, let's get it on this smaller gas here. Now this is the sauce, so the, the, the bones have nicely browned. So I'm going to add a little touch of white wine vinegar. Now this gives the whole sauce a really sort of sharp edge to it. So you literally put in a tablespoon of vinegar, all the little bits off the bottom, and, and evaporate that almost straight away. And then I'm going to add a pinch of sugar to that as well. And about a glass and a bit of dry white wine and just let that bubble away. All the goodness and all the bones and juices are in there. And finally, a good glug of game or chicken stock. Rapid boil and we'll cook that down. Now, as you can see, that's reduced down perfectly. It tastes fantastic. So I'll just turn that off. I am going to add a little tiny bit of butter to that. That will give the sauce a beautiful shine and also thicken it very slightly. You can see that it's melting. And just thickening very... Look at that, beautiful. Lovely. All right. Finally, put it back on there. Strain the sauce. Through a fine sieve, and you'll end up with two portions. Lovely sauce. The sauce is ready. Okay. The bird now is warm and perfectly rested, so just lift that out, just dab it dry because the juices onto a plate just like that. Any juice that's left in that pan I'm going to put into the sauce, along with a few cedar scrapes I've cut in half, they go in. And also, a few browned flaked almonds, not many, about a tablespoon. And just warm them through in the sauce. Let's rearrange this nicely. So the breast is over the legs. And finally, spoon over your sauce. And your grapes. Look at that. Plain roast partridge, the grapes and almonds.